Hey, how's it going guys? Me, Third Division, and we are back playing some Division Craft. And if I can just say, I am sorry for this video, because it should have been two, if not two and a half videos. So, my last couple recordings have been really, and I probably shouldn't say this because, you know, monetization and community guidelines and blah, 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 blah. But it got really fucked up. Okay, just like some audio issues. I'm going to do this all in one take, so I don't have to do much editing. But I literally had recording set up, and I recorded some footage. And then at the end of the footage, I was like, I don't really like this, so I'll just do some more stuff and put that in. But then the audio problems start showing up. So all I can do is show you what I've done so far. This will just be a little explanation showing off flexing on you guys over in the comments sections. By the way, if you did not know, this is a custom mod pack. I made the mod pack myself. I did not make the mods inside the mod pack. They are all public. They are all for anybody to use. I do not monetize this at all, but you can download it on CurseForge. It's called Division Craft. It's named after the series. But let me get on to what has been going on. This thing, you might be wondering, what is that? This is my, if anything, this is my power station. I had a design for the last power station. I decided to scrap it. <sighs> if anything, I made a video showing how I did this power station, but that all got scrapped. Again, I'm sorry. This right now is making 163,000 stress units. So, and we're using up, I guess, 70% of that, which is a lot. And the way I have this one set up is, ooh, this is getting backed up. Let me make, damn, this is gonna be a little bit annoying because, well, no, I can probably just come back in a second. Okay, we're back. I just placed down a bed, slept the night off, and then I put down this golden chest. Or not golden, this diamond chest. Hopefully that'll fill up. And I'll have to fix that later. Either way, my kelp farm's still there. Guess what, all this stuff over here, not there anymore. I did plant a lot of apple trees. So now we got ourselves a little apple orchard over here. Just that'd be nice, you know, if you ever need apples, which I don't. I really don't need apples. I have too many apples. In fact, I have 1,250 apples. Either way. So I decided to move a kelp farm, or I decided to keep the kelp farm there. That's not what I'm talking about. I decided to put a sugarcane farm over here. It makes sugarcane. If anything, this seems a little slow, but, you know, it harvests it. And then it immediately grows back, and what, I get like probably five. Either way. I uh, decided to move the tree farm. The tree farm remnants are still over here. This is not working, though. It's not working because I actually took down all the components, but I left the trees. I don't know why. I decided to move it over here. This is all connected to the... This I think this should all come straight through here, too. Yeah, I think that's the... Yeah, that, that's it right there. And so trees and everything, sure can, it all comes through here. Gets sent over here to my auto sorter, which is doing great. I'm gonna go check and see what the surplus. Uh, let me find. See if I'm lacking anywhere. Mmm. So sticks are getting backed up. So I'll have to add some more storage for the sticks. But everything else seems to be doing great. There's the blaze farm. I'm pretty sure I showed that off. Uh, I got two cows over here because I want to start producing some milk. Got these animals. These are my dogs. I did not name these dogs. I explained in the last video, but it got, you know, discontinued. Uh, so I have this mod installed to where if you have a pet and you make two uh, pets breed, the baby will be will spawn in with a name. So this one's just Wim. Wim's pretty cool. Uh, this is Pam, and I think there's one more. Yeah, Barbara. So I'm gonna assume these are all girls. I don't know what Wim or Wim is. It feels like a girl's name, so that's a girl. These are all girls, and these are the two main dogs. My first starter dogs. Pretty cool. Uh, two cows that farm is still over there, but you didn't see this which is my auto farm It'll you know technically it's not auto because I have to turn it on and off But yeah, I like just seeing I don't know about you guys when it comes to farms like those over there I like to see them grow and then go and grab everything So this should all be connected to the auto storage. So let me see Yeah, there is still some stuff in here I think those just those two chests but here if i turn that on it should dump everything yeah you can kind of see it hopefully this doesn't take too long i want to jump up here so i can get a good view but yeah this has uh the harvesters on that end and it'll just go straight down 
And I'll keep going until I flip the switch again, and then it'll come right back. And then it'll dump all of this stuff. All the stuff that's gathered from here, it'll dump it down in there. Now, is this efficient? Not really, but I reckon it produces enough stuff to where I don't have to keep it automatically running. And auto farms, they're pretty, they're pretty laggy. So this one would be fine. Uh, I do plan on adding a second section. I had to fill that up with another type of vegetable or, you know, whatever I want to farm. And then copy it on the other side. It's going to take a lot of harvesters, but luckily I have a lot of iron. And speaking of iron, well, I do want to show off my iron farm. Actually, I'll take that back. That's not an iron farm yet. I was working on an iron farm and a gold farm. The gold farm is working, though. Hmm. So... Not gonna lie, it is kind of annoying. Let me just get rid of this. Yeah, look at that. I didn't get a great view of it, but oh well. Just harvest all of that. Now I can put you back on here. And then flip you. Hold up. Flip you. And it'll come right back. Clip through all of that. Anything that wasn't grown is not gonna get harvested. And then bam, attaches to there. And now it will drop all of its stuff. Hopefully everything has a good enough storage to where it won't get, you know. Oh, look. Already some stuff coming down. It was even the last time. But yeah, hopefully none of that's going to get backed up. This is everything I got in here that's not. Either, either it's in here because it doesn't have a spot to go to. Or because uh, it's run over its limit. So that's there. Let me go over here. I'm deciding to glass off uh, this section. Just because... Apparently, mobs and pillagers and these rat people, plague doctors, whatever they're called, they like to get in here, flies, and if they die, it, like, you know, shortens everything up. But a quick explanation without getting too close to that guy so he won't kill me. Or actually, I take that back. I can just drink some milk and I should be fine. Hmm. There we go, some milk. And, yeah. So if you guys don't know, uh, the way I usually record my videos is I'll just record, mess around, not do anything special, and then uh, compile all the best moments, or just, you know, if I'm working on a project like this. I had all, I had a lot of this on video, me working on this thing, but I had to scrap it because of terrible audio, and I don't know what happened. But uh, yeah, let me just do a little quick explanation. So you guys have seen this design before, where it's a lava and water. This is a waterlogged block. I feel like this is a little bit loud. So I'm just going to turn that down for you guys. Turn it down some more. All right. Hopefully that's fine. But yeah, these are waterlogged blocks. And I have them cased in glass. So they're not going to spill anywhere. And they're not going to overflow and turn that into cobblestone. So now that that's all there, I have these drills on top, which are all connected through these uh, belts. And I have one main belt over the top, which also powers these wheels. Now, these different uh, grinding wheels, I'm assuming. Uh, but I got to look it up because I always forget crushing wheels, not grinding wheels. Let me jump on top of here. Don't worry, it won't kill me. Probably. Uh, see, all the gravel goes into this chest and then gets spit out in 64 uh, chunks. It goes through one crushing wheel. Then two gets turned into sand. As you can see, the sand gets put into this chest. The flint just gets thrown over there. And all the extra sand when this gets uh, too full, which it is right now. All the clay gets tossed into there. And whenever you get four, it gets tossed into here. So clay is pretty important. But this first section, turning gravel into sand, you get a little bit of clay. So I have to get rid of that in order to keep on this. And this section, what it does is puts it in this little chamber that washes all the sand. We get a bunch of clay. Clay gets pressed into clay blocks, which gets put in here and gets spit out at 64 chunks or 64 stack. Stack 64. I don't know what I'm saying. My mouth is actually kind of hurting. Either way, it gets turned into terracotta when it gets blast, uh, burnt, cooked, not cooked. Either way, it gets pretty much, it's just the same thing as a uh, furnace. Gets put in here, then it drops down, and terracotta turns into red sand. And red sand, when it gets broken down, has a chance of dropping gold. And we have almost a stack so far, so I figure, you know, 
leave this going for a little bit in the background while you're playing and you'll get some extra gold let me see what i got right now i have oh 805 i didn't even think i had that much to be honest but yeah it's a great source of gold and on the opposite side right here along this wall i'm gonna copy the cobblestone generators on this side and then this row will be producing iron so that's the farms i got right now also uh my windmill that's up there you get a look at that oh don't want to pick up that that uh sand jump all the way over here so my windmill which is the first thing i built in this world if you've been following along it is still over there i'm never going to get rid of that but the downstairs area where we had our old iron farm i cleaned all of that out it was kind of a cool build you know for the beginning it was like a secret little room and you know i need to focus back on building because the last actual building i built was for the uh kelp farm which is this section i didn't really detail it out as you see on this one this one has a lot more details i'm actually really really proud of this build that i made but uh yeah one day we'll have to focus more on the details of the world i just really want to get down all the interiors of the structures like you know i have the um the uh, mob farm in the back see that's not you know it's not detailed at all it's kind of just a big cube or big rectangular prism <sighs> but one day i'll have to put a roof on it you know get some details i have to turn this entire factory into an actual building and uh that'll definitely be interesting but yeah that is the update on this world i'm sorry i couldn't put it all into one coherent video also i only have 30 frames in this world now because of all these you know different factories and structures and stuff as soon as i walk away i get up close to you know 40 50 but yeah i don't know what else to say oh yeah if you like this video make sure and comment make sure and like let me know what i'm doing let me know how your day's going make sure and you know hit that subscribe button hit the bell do that thing every youtuber always tells you to do and i'll check you guys out in the next video or check me out in the next video guys i don't know what i'm saying i'm a terrible youtuber okay i haven't uploaded in like a week what do you want what do you expect from me peace out